Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third annual Country Music Stuff Awards. Had to get nice and spiffy for such an important occasion. We may not have the history or the institutional gravitas of something like the CMA Awards, but hey, we are voted on by the subreddit Country Music Stuff, which I started, and uh, we just, you know, choose some of our favorite country music every year, and it's just like a little, I don't know, kind of unofficial internet award show for country music. And this year, you know, I got this super fancy Yeehaw trophy that definitely doesn't have some random girl doing gymnastics and I definitely didn't only spend two dollars on at a thrift store today. You know, we got a, some, some official brass this year and uh, we're gonna be presenting 12 categories of awards. Last year we got some attention from the Hot Country Knights. They shouted us out when they won their award for best group and you know, we'll see if anyone pays attention this year. If not, that you know wouldn't be that offensive. We are proud to own the title of Country Music's Smallest Night. You would not be wrong to call us that. This year, instead of just presenting the awards by myself, I am collaborating with two other YouTubers. We got Overshore and Cyrus Waugh. Both of them run country music channels and they delve into other waters as they see fit. And you should go ahead and check them out. They do great work. They put a lot of effort into their channels. Cyrus is also one of the moderators over at Country Music Stuff on Reddit and uh, you know, I, I want the more the merrier here on YouTube when it comes to country music commentary. I think it's awesome that they're building their channels and I just think it's cool when people have different tastes and see things a little bit differently. Like I'm not a Russell Dickerson fan, but it would be cool if a Russell Dickerson fan made a video about why they love him. I feel like that's awesome and everyone wins. So I'm gonna be passing off the mic to them throughout the evening as they present some of these categories. Now when it comes to these nominations for these categories, I would just say don't overthink it. Basically like we just kind of putzed around a few different ideas of who should be in each category based on the taste of the people over in the subreddit and our own taste. And there is no like official submission period or any of that stuff like just it's a silly little internet award show. Don't overthink it. We're not trying to slight anybody or leave anyone out unjustly. There's no rules. There's, you know, come on. It just is, it is what it is. Just don't overthink it. Although we do differ from other award shows in that we also have some worst categories along with all the best. So with all that said, I'd like to pass the mic over to Mr. Cyrus Waugh himself to start us off. Hi everyone, my name is Cyrus. I want to thank Grady for having me on the channel and let's just get right into these awards. Now, before we can get into the stuff that's celebrated, we gotta highlight some of the worst stuff that's come along this year. Here are your nominees for worst song of the year. We just trying to catch a good time, even if it takes Where the country girls at, where they gonna be, the ones that like to dance. Yeah, we fancy like apple peas on a date night. Got that barber's. All day in the sun. Yeah, baby. I got a new truck. I got a new ride. I got a... And your winner is Fancy Like by Walker Hayes. Ah, Fancy Like, how I hate you so. But what could be worse than one song? How about an entire album of bad music? Here are your nominees for worst album of the year. Yeah, we fancy like apple peas on a date night. Got to burn my... Still got a lot of time to take. Just trying to catch a good time, even if it takes And the winner is Country Stuff by Walker Hayes. I feel like the name of the album was a dead giveaway that this music would be the opposite of Country Stuff. And now, with the bad stuff out of the way, let's get into the good. Here are your nominees for best duo or group. But I'm not for And the winner is My Boys Midland. Oh my god, I love them so. Please never stop making great music. And finally from me, we have Collaboration of the Year. And here are your nominees. I 
And the winner is Never Wanted to Be That Girl by Carly Pierce and Ashley McBride. Well, that's all from me now. It's time to hand over the awards to my pal Overshore. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Overshore. Big thanks to Grady for having me on the channel today. I'm super stoked to be bringing you guys some of these awards. And let's get into the first of the four awards I will be presenting to you guys. And that is the Duo or Group Song of the Year. Let's roll the nominees. Young me, way too young. And the CMS award for duo or group of the year goes to Sunrise Tells a Story by Midland, a fantastic song by one of my favorite groups out right now. Super glad to see they won. And let's move on to the next award. And next up is the female song of the year. You say you hate the smell of cigarettes, And your winner for Female Song of the Year goes to 29 by Carly Pierce, the title track of a phenomenal record. What a year 2021 has been for Carly Pierce. And with that, now that we've talked about the females, it's time to move on and talk about the guys for a bit. Here are your nominees for the Male Song of the Year. So long, Nashville, Tennessee, you can't have... If you got a chance, take it, take it while you... Oh, but now I'm dodging bottles in my song. Ain't nothing gonna kill these horses tonight but a song. Juanita, what your mama get there? And your winner, by quite a margin, may I add, is Sand in My Boots by Morgan Wallace. A fantastic piano ballad that is more than deserving of this award. And with that, we're going to move on to the final award I will be bringing to you guys. It's a big one. It is the single of the year. Here's your nominees. If you got a chance, take it. Take it while you... Oh, but now I'm dodging bottles in my song. How to know when it's love. How to stay. I want to keep a little time with you. And your award for the single of the year once again goes to Sand in My Boots by Morgan Wallen. And that's it for me. It is time to send it back over to Grady to wrap this thing up with all the biggest awards up for grabs. Thanks to Overshore and thanks to Cyrus before him. I'm back again to bring us home with some of these big four last categories. The first of which is Male Artist of the Year. And the nominees are... This ain't for everybody. Toes hanging off the lid. And the winner, and you might have guessed it based on some of the other results tonight, is Morgan Wallen. He had a pretty impressive performance in the award vote this time. The next category is Female Artist of the Year. This is a tight race. Here are the nominees. Getting to the point where I can carry on. I never you say you hate the smell of cigarettes. Whoa. Hey, next girl, you don't know me. I'm just the one. If I was a cowboy, I'd be wild. How to know when it's love, how to stay. And the winner of Female Artist of the Year is Carly Pierce. 
29 might have been the year that she got married and divorced, but it's also the year that she took home two trophies here at the Country Music Stuff Awards. And unfortunately, if she's too shell-shocked, Ashley McBride is not here to help her speak. Song of the Year is a Songwriters Award, and so this is for just kind of the overall song that hit people in the feels the most. Here are the nominees. You say you hate the smell of cigarette smoke. Oh, but now And the winner of Song of the Year is Sand in My Boots by Morgan Wallen, written by Michael Hardy, Ashley Gorley, and Josh Osborne. You know, if the songwriters were here, I would ask if that line, something about the way she kissed me, tells me she'd love Eastern Tennessee, was originally something about the way she kissed me, tells me she'd love Mississippi. Because, you know, that's where Hardy is from. But for now, it's a mystery. All we know is that it won Song of the Year. And then for the big one, for the big kahuna, for album of the year, we had to have an expanded category because there were so many albums that deserved this honor, but let's check out the nominees. Your pillar of belief still biting your Is the year that I got married and divorced? And every hour on the hour Juanita What's your The winner of Album of the Year is Chris Stapleton's Starting Over. Many people consider it the true follow-up to Traveler, and I would agree with that. It's an extremely great album, whether you're crying about your dog, or saying your ex is cold, or just loving your wife and starting over, or leaving Nashville, Tennessee. There's something there for everyone. It's full of soul. The vocals are incredible. It just sounds expensive and great, and it's a well-deserved honor. You know, I just noticed that we have never had a category for best new artist, so I'm gonna make one up off the cuff right now. The nominees are as follows. Morgan Wade. Let's throw in Tristan Merez. Cole Chaney. Chapel Hart. Hannah Dasher. And maybe I'll put in Brian Kelly as well. He's been around with Florida Georgia Line, but he had an impressive debut with Beach Cowboy. And I'm just gonna arbitrarily choose a winner from those. Um, this did not go to a vote. I don't even know if this will be included in the final cut. Uh, Overshore is editing the video, so we'll find out. But I'm gonna go ahead and say Cole Chaney and his album Mercy, which just knocked me on my ass when I heard it earlier this year, is taking away the Country Music Stuff Award for Best New Artist. Gotta throw some Appalachian indie flavor into this mix. And so that's it guys, that is the end of the ceremony. Congratulations to all of the winners, and really, hopefully it was just an honor to be nominated in such a prestigious subreddit voted award show. Thank you to everyone over in the subreddit for participating and for voting, and I just hope this is fun for everyone. Check out Cyrus's channel, check out Overshore's channel, uh, show them some love, and why don't you guys, you know, if you're curious about starting a channel, do it. Now is the time. It's never going to get easier than right now, so uh, I don't know. Go Country Music Stuff Awards, and uh, see you next year, hopefully.